Hi guys, Jonathan Graham here. Today I'll be showing you this model I designed a little while ago. Um, this is an Origami Ace of Clubs. You can see it is a club card suit and it's sort of three-dimensional. This is from one uncut square of paper and I'll be making that today. This one I think was from a seven or eight inch square. We're going to be using a six inch square. This happens to be dual paper so we'll use the blue for the finished model so you want to start off with the blue side up actually. We're going to make what's called a water bomb base. We're going to fold it in half, both directions. Um, in this case, I want the blue to be on the finished model. Flip it over and go diagonally in half in both directions. And then, oh. Diagonally in half both directions. And now we're going to bring this together and collapse on the creases to a triangle. And this is called the water bomb base. And now to, we're going to, next we're going to do some more folds here. We're going to take this point, you can see the crease in the middle here, I'm just going to, there. And fold this point to there, making sure the crease, it's on the center crease. Crease it really sharply, because you'll see why in a bit. Now we're going to fold this point up to the edge so it's on the middle line. Flip this over and we're going to fold this up to this edge. Kind of doing an accordion fold. I'm going to lay it down here so that I can get my creases precise. But I basically accordion fold this into one, two, three, four sections. And now we're going to reverse all these creases. I'm just going to go like this. Keep the layers from shifting. And this is going to be not easy, make the next part a lot easier. So I'll reverse, and I'll reverse them one more time. Make them genderless creases, which means they don't have a specific way. And they're not a mountain fold or a valley fold. Now we're going to unfold this so that the white side, in this case the green side, is facing up. Well, this will be our white side in this case. And we're going to do, um, we're going to fold, we're going to turn this over so that the colored side is up, or the blue side, in this case, the side we want to be the finished model. And we're going to make the outer square a mountain fold, the outermost creases. So it kind of looks like a tablecloth almost, corners. And this next square will be a valley fold. So you push this in more, and now it kind of almost looks like a shallow box or something, or an ashtray or something. Now I'm going to flip this over for the next part. There's our mountain crease. Flatten it, leaving the middle one. It's a square, so we have a small box. And finally, just collapse this middle like a water bomb base, like that. And this is known as box pleating or pleat sinking. And now we're going to make this into the ace of clubs. Now we're going to take each of these corners and flatten them off. So I'm going to fold it in so that this is parallel here. And the crease starts right where that point is. Reverse it just to make it easier for the next part. I'm going to open up just the outer corner and reverse fold that inside. And this triangle I'm just going to fold inside. Fold that inner triangle inside itself. Onto itself. And that just locks this corner and we're going to do that with the other two, other three, sorry. So we're going to fold it in, starts at that corner. That, I'm going to just reverse it. And once again, inside reverse fold. And open up, and this little triangle we fold in half so that it tucks inside. This is sort of tricky to do, but like that. Just fold it down as much as far as you can. And that closes that end. And then we do the third side, again, fold it in, keeping these two creases parallel, or the edges parallel. Reverse it, inside reverse fold, and just going to open up this upper part, a little triangle here, and going to fold inside. A little bit hard to show here, because it's smaller, but basically folding that triangle in half. It's a little hard to show here.
Sometimes it doesn't really want to go too easily, but it doesn't even be, doesn't have to be perfectly neat either, since you won't even see that triangle at the end, anyways. The last one, fold over on all four. This is on all four points. And once again, just opening up this so I can fold this triangle into itself behind, like that. Should go in fairly neatly. If it doesn't, that's okay like this one because I don't really see it anyways. And now you have this nice little four, like a plus sign, or I guess a multiplication sign if you held it like this, or an X. And now we're going to make the ace of clubs now. This is sort of tricky, but not too difficult. You're going to open up carefully here. I'm actually going to pick one side where it locked well. And we're going to make the rounded petals. So we're just going to kind of open up these pleats, this middle one, and push down on the middlemost pleat and kind of reverse this point right there, flatten that point down inside, allowing it to round itself out, allowing this to kind of turn into a circle shape. And because circles are hard to make in origami, you kind of have to sculpt it. Try to keep it from unfolding. And this little corner on the top, when you're ready here, you can just kind of fold it over, make a little pleat there, to sort of make it into a circle. And there's one of the, I guess, petals, if you will, of the club. So it almost looks like a spoon or something there, the bowl of a spoon. That's one of these. Now we're going to take another one, keep these together so they don't unfold, and do the same thing. I like to go behind here and push down on this point, keeping this in, and allowing, and then under here, pushing out inside the edge to, to round it out. So it's all just basically sculpting the paper. And then make a little pleat on the edge to keep the edge kind of flat and even. And then there's two that kind of almost looks like a mouse ears. And then number three, again, go behind, put your finger in the this bottom most one, open up here, and push down on the Fold this down here like this, and you just open this up in the back, the outer part, into a circle, pushing up at the top, and sort of basically what you're doing here is sculpting it. This is basically sculpting it. There's no specific creases you're using, you're just kind of curving the edges sort of almost crunching or crumpling it into place in some cases. There's three. That seed looks like a club. Now I just have to make this bottom part. This is the easiest part. I'm going to fold this down. You can see this little point here. We're going to fold it to about there. And unfold, unfold it really sharply. And then you're going to open up here open up the behind and just like a box almost just flatten this in the front here open up behind just like you did there but instead of making a curved crease you're going to make a flat straight crease straight fold and then this extra point at the front you're going to just sort of flatten in oops make sure you can see that and flatten it down and there you should have your finished ace of clubs and you can kind of go around and sort of adjust these if you so choose to make them more rounded and there it is the ace of clubs if you use black paper of course it'll look be the correct color but there it is the ace of clubs i guess it could be a three leaf clover not as difficult as it looks please remember to rate comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video